There once was a cat with a fiddle. Let's just call him Fiddle Cat. Now Fiddle Cat wandered from town to town, playing his fiddle for anyone that would stay to listen. Sometimes he would stop at a house, play his fiddle, and get a nice meal and spend the night. Whenever he came to a new town, he would try to find the place where the, with the best smells. This warm spring morning, he stopped at the door of a restaurant and sniffed. Hmm, what have we here? Fresh pastry, good. Coffee, better. And hot milk. He walked right in. He was greeted by a pretty young woman with a big smile. Welcome to the Half Moon Cafe. I'll be your server. My name is Edith, but all the guys call me the dish. I suppose that's because I can carry so many dishes at a time. Fiddle Cat ordered a tall mug of hot milk with a big head of froth. Pretty soon, a tall skinny guy with a long spoon tucked behind his ear came up carrying a mug. Cat, enjoy. This is my boyfriend, Fernando. He's the barista. He makes all the drinks here. Everybody calls him Spoon because of his big barista spoon. Spoon and me would like to get married, but we don't have enough money just yet. <sighs> Their smiles drooped, and Spoon and the dish made a little sigh. <sighs> oh, well, one of these days. Fiddle Cat. Fiddle Cat sipped his milk. This is great. The best I've ever had. I'm glad you noticed, said Dish. Our milk here is special. The Half Moon Cafe has its own cow to supply all of our milk. Daisy is her name. She's a very talented cow. She plays piano in the band. A band? Fiddle Cat's eyes brightened as he looked up from his mug of milk. Yes, every night from ten to two, Little Dog Brown and his band play hot jazz. Jazz? What's that, asked Fiddle Cat? You don't know what jazz is? Come back tonight at ten and find out, she said with a laugh. That night, right at the stroke of ten, Fiddle Cat came back to the Half Moon Cafe. All the night owls had come out. The joint was jumping, the house was hopping, and at the center of it all was Little Dog Brown with his yellow cello. Even though he was small, he could make his cello sound as big as any bass. <laughs> Thank you. 
little cat was entranced. He had just heard a sound he had never heard before. So this is jazz, he thought to himself. I've got to find a way to play it. As Little Dog Brown got off of this bandstand, Fiddle Cat ran up to him. Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown! Call me Little Dog. C can, can I play with your band? Play with the band? That's not up to me to decide. We're going to have to ask the big boss. He's a little scary, but I'll think he'll say yes. Come on, I'll take you to see him. He's probably in his office. Little Dog Brown and Fiddle Cat walked down a long hall to see the big boss. The big boss was sitting behind an oak desk with piles of money in front of him. The take from that night. Hey, boss, said the little dog. Hey, Brown, replied the big boss. Who's the skinny cat? <clears throat> Mrs. Fiddlecat, boss. He wants to sit in with the band. The big boss looked Fiddlecat up and down. Hmm, cat with a fiddle? I've never heard of that before. That's really unusual. I bet that would bring in big crowds, and big crowds bring in big bucks. Mm, okay, cat, you're on. Be here tomorrow night. Show starts at 10 sharp, and don't be late. <laughs> The next day, Fiddle Cat woke up and thought to himself, What have I done? I've never played jazz before in my life. I'm going to make a fool of myself. What am I going to do? But Fiddle Cat showed up at the Half Moon Cafe just as he said he would and got ready to play. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a special treat for you. Appearing for the first time anywhere, <laughs> Fiddle Cat. Oh, what, what can I play, Fiddle Cat thought to himself. The music's about to start. A one, a two, a three, a four. Okay, Cat, you're up. applauded but then some rude voices popped up hey who let the cat out of the bag put him back in hey you with the fiddle what's wrong cat got your tongue <laughs> <laughs>
Uh oh, said Little Dog. That didn't go very uh, go over very well. We'd better see what the big boss has to say. saying sorry kid two thumbs down i don't think you're a real jazz musician what did that guy say it doesn't mean a thing if it doesn't have that swing something like that poor fiddle cat he and little dog walked slowly away really messed up, didn't I? Yep. I love jazz, but I don't know how to play. Do you think you could teach me? Uh, I could teach you, but it'll take a long time. And I think you lost your chance to play with the big band. The big boss is really mad. <sighs> That's okay, said Fiddle Cat. First, I need to learn how to play jazz. Let's start right away. But the jazz lessons were not going so well. Fiddle Cat had been studying for weeks and didn't seem to be getting anywhere. Okay, try playing this, said Big Dog wearily. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Nope, not even close. Let's try it again. A one. A two, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> Poor Fiddle Cat was on the verge of tears. <sighs> Maybe I should just give up. No, I'll give it one more chance. Swinging now, fiddle cat, said little dog. Well, you can play jazz, but I still see one big problem. The big boss won't let you play with the band. He won't give you a second chance. Yeah, said Daisy. Nobody would be happier than me if you got to play with the band. I'd jump clear over the cafe for joy if you could. But it's not going to happen. The big boss is one tough cookie. Once you make a mistake, you're done. No second chances. Just then, the dish and the spoon came in. We heard what you were saying. We think that we can get the big boss to give Fiddle Cat a second chance. Please, please, see what you can do, said Fiddle Cat. Okay, said the spoon, and off they went to see the big boss. Hey, 
What are you doing here? You want another raise? Well, no way. Back to work. No, boss. We're here to tell you about a great money-making opportunity, said the spoon. The boss's ears perked up. Oh, really? Tell me about it. Well, have you heard of Jazz Cat? Fiddle Cat, he's no good. He's had his chance. No, 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 no. Jazz Cat, he's spectacular. He's going to be a huge star. Maybe he already is. Huh. On second thought, maybe you can't afford him. He's too big a star for a little joint like this. Hey, the Half Moon Cafe is not a little joint. I'll get Jazz Cat to play here if it's the last thing I do. How much will it cost? One hundred dollars? Ha! More. Two hundred dollars. Come on. Um, Three hundred dollars? <clears throat> Keep going. Uh, Four hundred dollars? Uh, Five hundred dollars? There we go. Bingo. Okay, okay. Bring Jazz Cat here. This is gonna be great. The big day finally arrived. The cafe was packed to the rafters. It seemed like the whole town turned up to hear Jazz Cat. Jazz Cat came out to join Little Dog Brown and his band. Wait, that's not Jazz Cat, the big boss shouted. That's just Fiddle Cat. But before the big boss could do anything about it, the band began to play. went wild. Little Dog laughed. I knew that you could do it, kid. Daisy said, I didn't think that you could do it, but I was wrong. Congratulations, Fiddle Cat. I mean, Jazz Cat. Daisy, do you remember what you'd say, what you said you'd do if Jazz Cat got to play with the band? Of course, said Daisy. I'm going to jump over the cafe. And she trotted right out of the door. There was the sound of heavy hooves on the roofs. A gasp, a thump, and a cheer. Hooray! Jazz Cat was smiling from ear to ear. The big boss came up to him. You were great, Jazz Cat, and I was wrong. How about you stay on permanently and be part of the band and, oh, here's your $500. Jazz Cat took the money from the big boss and turned to the dish and spoon. Oh, thank you so much for helping me. This belongs to you. The dish and the spoon gave Jazz Cat a big hug and kiss, and before he could say anything else, they flew out of the door. Okay, have we covered everything? The cow jumped over the moon. Check. The little dog laughed. Check. And the dish ran away from the spoon. Check. One more time. Such fun, and the dish ran away with the spoon.